Hey everyone, welcome back to another Slime Fun Filled episode with your host Boomer. I am excited to bring you some updates today in the Fluffy Machines. Before we do, I just want to clarify something from our last episode. We were talking about the Stardust Reactor and having the Stardust being a renewable resource. If the server you play on does not have an Affinity Expansion, then the only way you're going to get the Stardust Meteors is by geomining. You're going to have to do a lot of geomining and you're going to run out of them. But if you do have Infinity Expansion installed, in the Geo Quarry itself, one of the things it mines is the Stardust Meteors. So there are Stardust. So there is a opportunity for it to become a permanent power source as long as you have Infinity in Expansion installed. So let's sit back. Let's get into our favorite cup of coffee. And let's get into Fluffy Machines. Let's look at some of these updates. First thing we're going to look into is called the Paxel. This should be hopefully relatively self-explanatory, right? It's a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel, all in one. A couple synthetic emeralds, reinforced alloy ingots, and diamonds, along with one of each diamond tool. So on a cost scale, it's probably a three or four in base slime fun. The nice thing about it is you click once, right? And you see it change to the appropriate tool. Now, if any of you have never played Skygrid, those of you who have know what I'm talking about, but if you've never played Skygrid, it is literally a world of slime or Minecraft in the sky, right? It's in a grid shaped. Every four blocks horizontally and vertically, there's only one world resource block. So if one out of every 64 blocks is a resource, everything else is plain air. And this is from void to sky from, from zero to 128. I love sky grid. It's a hard game to get going, but once you do, it's a lot of fun. And it really is a lot of fun. Now, for those of us who used to clear these massive bases, we would go in and clear out literally 500 blocks by 500 blocks, platform the whole thing, and just build a huge base. Well, in order to do that, you had to bring a few tools with you. You needed a pickaxe, an axe, a shovel, uh, a shears, and two buckets. Because you had to deal with wood blocks, stone blocks, earth blocks, uh, wool, and webs. And then you had to deal with water and lava. And you could find anything in the grid if you were willing to go out and find it, including ores. You could find, you know, flowers. You could find trees. But clearing grid was the hardest thing because you had to keep all these different tools. And as you would start at Y equals 128 and drop down to the bottom after you clear a block, quite frequently you were changing tools based on whatever you landed on. Well, at the Paxel, I go right from one to the other. And you can see it's simply changing. Pick, axe, shovel that fast i love this thing we're moving on next thing we want to talk about is the warp pads i love these things you can set up quite a few of these let's put uh, let's put one over here so let's talk about these warp pad is relatively inexpensive to craft uh, eight eye of ender and one gps teleporter pylon which is relatively cheap one heating coil that's it so i'll give it all maybe a two at the most and then you need a warp pad configurator to magnesium. We found something to do with magnesium. Thank you, Fluffy. And another eye of ender. Real simple. Start by placing down your warp pad. Now, you're going to label the destination first. So you're going to hold down left shift, right click. That is your destination. Now we're going to tell the, or the origin pad where to go. And so do not shift, just right click. Now you do not have to be holding, you see how quickly that was? I shifted to activate it. You don't have to hold the warp pad configurator to be able to get this to work. You just need the warp pad configurator to set it up. So once you are on there, you left shift and you teleport right to your destination. And so obviously if you wanna go back, you would do the same thing. You'll set up an origin one here after you set up a separate destination one back by your origin that way you can get back and forth but you always set the destination first then that gets copied to your configurator which then puts the information into your origin really nice i can't see a limit i had three of them going at once earlier and worked perfectly fine let's move on all right how many of you uh let's see let's talk about the fluffy wrench how many of you have large what did I just do? 
Where, oh, I put the helmet on. All right. How many of you have large slime fund networks, right? And if you're like me, you're always rearranging your network. You're never happy. You always want to make it more compact, more space saving. But clearing nodes, a shovel, an axe, and a pickaxe just don't clear nodes fast. There's really no other way to do it unless you got the fluffy wrench. And this is so cool. You want to see how fast you can take nodes off? Right click or left click. Either one of them instantly pulls off the nodes. Lifesaver, especially when you're moving a large quantity of network nodes. And for crafting, it's not too bad. Uh, six copper ingots. So you need six copper dust, right? Real simple. I'll give that one a one cost. All right. Now, you're thinking, well, I didn't want to do that yet. You're thinking, I've got all these items in the chest. I need to move this. Oh, there went my coffee. I want to move this chest of chests, right? We don't want it here. We got to get rid of it. We're going to move it to a different part of our base. So we're going to use a dolly to pick it up. And the dolly, whoops, go back. Five iron ingots, three leather, and a mine cart. So again, real cheap, a one. Hold the dolly, right click the chest. Now it looks like a chest mine cart, right? Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Uh, the city construction guy said they want it over here. Let's place it down. Let's open it up. Voila. We've moved our chest of chests. Now, it only works on vanilla storage items. From my understanding, it does not work on fluffy barrels, which is kind of ironic since Fluffy wrote it. But um, I know a suggestion has been made, so we'll see if that becomes a feature down the road. In the meantime, you can at least move a chest full of vanilla items and not have to worry about picking out all the individual little items. Get yourself a inventory full of dollies, grab 27 full chests, take them where you want them to go. Easy enough to move your base, right? All right. We have two more. No, just one more we're going to talk about today. Uh, the other one I want to talk about is a helicopter hat. This is relatively new. I just learned about it a few days ago. I thought this was kind of neat. We're going to see how Iron Man likes a helicopter hat. Now, before we use it, let's take a look. First of all, to craft it, three iron ingots, two advanced circuit boards, two compressed carbons, a motor, and a cap. So it's a decent cost, you know, three to four. How do we look in this cap? We got to look good, right? Does it fit the Iron Man? I don't know. I'll bet you it looks good in other suits. Iron Man, yeah, we need his original suit. But here's a really cool thing with this, right? You ready? Hold down left shift. That's all there is to it. It's like creative flying almost. And can I move around? Well, unfortunately, no. This is kind of, well, actually, now I am moving a little bit. Before, I was having a hard time. Yeah, it looks like we are moving because if I were to fall down here, let's see. So it is very slow moving left and right. But if I were to let go, now I can control myself right into the water. Boink. Uh-oh, let's get out of here. I don't want to be with the golems. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get out of there. Okay. I don't want them to be mad at me. So let's see. Can I... I was trying to land on that. Can I do it? Can I do it? Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you do have a little bit of control. I just wanted to shift my views. So we can go forward and backwards while flying. It's just very little. It's more um, that shulker effect, kind of that levitation. Uh, when you get hit by a shulker, whatever that thing's called, I forget. But that's that kind of effect, that levitation effect. I think you're going up a little bit faster than a shulker hits you. Yeah, you're definitely going a little bit faster than a shulker hits you. But pretty cool nonetheless. So guys, man, thank you so much. Again, I love all the comments and feedback that you've been providing. You can keep, keep the suggestions coming. I'd like to know what else should we talk about. We're continuing to go through. We've still got three or four more plugins that have had a number of updates and add-ons. Uh, chicken engineering has been completely overhauled. Uh, there's a couple of new add-ons that uh, one of them has been released that we're going to look into. Another one is in alpha testing stages that we're going to look at. 
But I want to hear from you guys what, what you'd like to hear or what maybe I haven't covered yet in Slime Fun. There are, I know there are some things. We still haven't touched STB and we still haven't touched Hot Bar Pets. And I think there's one or two others that we've barely nicked the surface on. But let me know what, what you'd like to hear. And if we've done it, I'll point you in the right direction. If not, we'll see what we can do to get it on. But thanks for watching. And don't forget, you got to go boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later. Take care.